Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're going to continue with trigonometric graphs and last lesson we talked about the sine function so today we're going to talk about the cosine function and once we have drawn the cosine function I'm also going to talk to you guys about what is a domain and what is the range and what is the period of our graphs so let's get started by drawing the table of values for the cosine function so the graph we're trying to draw is y equals cosine theta so let's draw um, a table of values and let's uh, you make the first row theta so theta can range from let's say 0 uh, to 360 degrees and then so theta is in degrees and then we have y is equal to cos theta so cos theta and let's now bring up a calculator so if you put in here cos cosine of 0 make sure your calculator is on degrees mode and you get 1 and if you guys know about the unit circle then you really don't need the calculator at all so um, theta is 0, cos theta is 1, 90 is back to 0, 180 is negative 1, 270 is back to 0, 360 is 1. So if you don't know how I just wrote all that out without the calculator, you need to uh, do the tutorials on unit circles. Okay, so um, now that we have this, let's draw our graph, our cosine wave. So on the x-axis, I have theta in degrees. And y, we have uh, just the y-axis. And then um, it goes up to 1 and goes down to negative 1. In the middle is zero. All right, so horizontally, let's go up to 360. So 90, 180, uh, 270, 360. And let's put all the points in. So when theta is zero, cos theta is one. So we actually start here. And 90, 180. 270, 360. So um, you can draw the curve in now. Okay, and that's probably the best I can do. It should go through this point though, so let's try and do a better one. Alright, like that. Okay, so um, now we're going to talk about the domain of y equals cos theta. Now because I have only drawn the curve from 0 to 360 the domain is actually between um, so theta is right now between 0 and 360 this term in the middle is theta so theta is right now between 0 and 360 okay now if you wanted to you could um, expand the domain because the cosine curve can actually go on forever so for example you can put in 450 degrees um, uh, plus another 90 540 degrees and uh, it just keeps going uh, through the pattern so it'll go from uh, 1 to uh, 0 to negative 1 and so on 
So it has a pattern of um, going through from 1 to 0 to negative 1 to 0. So it repeats in uh, a sequence of 4. Right, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. So um, it's going to 1. Uh, so when x is 4, 50, it goes back down to 0. So it'll, and 540, it'll go down to negative 1 again. So it'll just keep repeating that pattern. So you can set the domain to whatever you want. So really, if you kept drawing this graph, the domain would be um, from negative uh, infinity to positive infinity or you can just say theta uh, is an element of is an element of real numbers so that means that it can be any real number that you can think of so a uh, thousand and twenty or something like that anything okay now let's look at the range of the function so the range is the boundary of the graph uh, when you look at uh, the y-axis vertically what is the boundary and you can see here that it doesn't matter how long I extend the wave okay it's never gonna go beyond y is equal to 1 it's never gonna go beyond this line and it's gonna never go beyond y is negative 1 so therefore the range is between 1 and negative 1 So it's between 1 and negative 1 is the range. Now let's talk about the period. The period of the graph is how long it takes for the curve to start repeating itself. And you can see here that the curve, starting at this point here, <clears throat> going down and then up, and then when it gets to the same point again is when it starts repeating itself. So the horizontal length of the wave of one single wave, right, this is considered one wave, right, is the period and the period is uh, 360 right that is the period of this graph how long it takes for the curve to start repeating itself and that is the horizontal um, span of one single wave okay now one last thing before I let you guys go and that is the whole um, graph can be redrawn using radians. So right now we are using degrees for theta, but if you have done my trigonometry tutorials, you would have learned about radians. So I'm just going to put an extra row for radians. And it's basically exact same thing as degrees, but just a different type of measurement it's sort of like the difference between um, I guess centimeters and inches it's a different unit so uh, radians uh, basically all you have to remember is 360 degrees is 2 pi radians and therefore 180 is just pi and 0 and um, 90 degrees is pi over 2 and 270 degrees is uh, 3 over 2 pi 1.5 pi and then you just keep going from that so um, you can say 90 degrees is pi over 2 radians 
180 degrees is pi radians, 270 degrees is one and a half pi radians, 360 degrees is two pi radians, and you can say the domain was from, uh, domain's the same, um, and the period would be two pi radians. Okay, it would be the period of this graph. All right, how long it takes for the curve to start repeating itself. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.